hey guys welcome to my channel um this is my first youtube video i just want to show you guys how i created this look if you guys want to know how i created this look just keep on watching okay guys so we are going to start off i'm using the clinique um just to put a little bit of moisture on my face um concealer works great and it's not um it's affordable really affordable then what i usually do i drag it down here for some reason i don't know why that out so i do grab my uh, my finger and i blend sometimes um that works for my morphe what is it r3s i believe i don't know i have the i've had these brushes for a while so excuse me so what i'm going to be using is the um, modern renaissance palette from anastasia and i'm going to be getting um this shade right here i'm going to apply that all over my um, crease just to set in that concealer that i do have eyeshadow can um, go on smoother i always use this color raw sienna from the palette right here it's kind of like a orangey undertone or something so yeah, I'm going to be just doing circular motions. Just go back and forth, back and forth. And you want to get your brush as further to the bristles as you can, okay? Just because that's going to give you a smoother transition color and it's going to blend well. So as opposed to having it here, you're putting more pressure on your eyelid. be getting the um j h 33 from the jacqueline hill the jacqueline hill um thing right there see g h jacqueline hill i'm gonna be getting this brush right here and i'm gonna be dipping into a regular right here this one right here i'm gonna be getting this one outer corner to just give dimension to the eye and make it more um darker right here so you want to do like a little v shape and remember keep blending okay two colors glide really well with each other um as you can see you you don't you can't see a line see so if you want to make it more darker you can you can grab a little more and then just keep on blending Don't worry about all the fallout. Right now we will clean it with the um, makeup wipe, okay? If you want a more payout, all you have to do is grab some and you just dab it on like this, okay? And then you just wanna go in little circles. And like I said, all that will be cleaned out afterwards, okay? Also, sometimes I grab my um, pinky. That works really good as well to blend, to blend out the harsh edges. They're not gonna be exactly the same. I you know I struggle with that a lot too. Like, oh my God, it's not the same. I mean, obviously don't make it like really, really noticeable that it's not the same, but um, for the most part, it's not gonna be exactly the same, okay? It took me a while to understand that. It took me a while to understand that, but now I understand that. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut my crease. I wanna show you guys how I cut my crease. Ah, oh, sorry, hold on. These wipes are a little harsh. They always get my eye watery. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little more of this. The um, Age Rewind by Maybelline. And I'm gonna get my flat brush. You can also do it with this one. This one also is from Jacqueline Hill. Um, it's the JH43. Just like a flat brush like that. I think this one will work better. So all you wanna do is you can follow the line right here. 
use that to carve and then this one for the rest. The other one that I used. I wanna stop like about right there because I don't wanna go too in, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. And go in a little bit. So you won't see the harsh line right there. Jacqueline Hill palette, the vault. I'm gonna be using. Let's see. Let's see which one we want. All the colors are so beautiful in this palette. I um, see they're already here. But I think I am going to use. I don't know. I've been liking coin lately with these looks or bling bling. Bling bling is so beautiful. Look. swatch of it let's see where is it bling bling they are so creamy ones that have glitter they're really really creamy see and on super super good it's so beautiful so let me see what do you guys think should I go in with that one or should I go in with coin this one's coin right here. It's like a gold. I love gold. So maybe I'll put both. Let me swatch that for you. See? There it is. I'm going to go with um, coin and then I'm going to go in with bling bling. Is I'm going to grab a flat brush like this right here. Like I said, this one, I don't know where it's from. Um, I did go to school for makeup, so that's where they gave me this one from. But it's just like a flat brush like that. So what I am going to do is, I always have a little um, water bottle. Oh, there's a tip, guys. So every time, you guys don't have to throw this away. Every time you guys are done with um, this, I go ahead and fill it up with water. Just in case, because sometimes we need water for our beauty blenders instead of using Fix It Plus because I know it's really expensive sometimes. I mean, I can get pricey with makeup. So what I do is I recycle it and I put water in it. So when I do stuff like this, like when I want to get like... Um, when I wanna put colors and so the payoff could be better. So what I do is I grab a little bit of Fix It Plus, I spray on the brush, just a little, a little is good. Then I go ahead and grab my, um, so I'm gonna be grabbing coin right here, this one, coin. And I'm gonna be picking up my brush with it. You guys are gonna see, there's a payoff. So I am going to be tapping uh, um, you can put a little bit like that, but for the most part, to get the better um, payoff, you want to tap it into your skin as opposed to dragging it. I'm going to use the other side of it, okay? I'm going to be using the other side, which is clean. I just cleaned it. I'm going to spritz a little bit again. Jacqueline Hill palette again. This palette is the Bling Boss on my other side of my brush. And I'm going to be dabbing it once again right here. So you want to bring the two colors together because you don't want it to look one color and then something's missing and then another color. So you want to glide them on together. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little more Fix It Plus spray, I mean water. <laughs> it's basically water. And I'm gonna be grabbing this palette again, the Arm, Armed and Gorgeous. I'm gonna be using Coin once again. I'm just gonna, uh, I just wanna intensify that um, color once again. Over, like I said. So you wanna make them glide together so it can create like a soft, look sorry it's a lot of steps to makeup then you get the final look and it looks beautiful but it does take a process for it to look beautiful so we're just gonna go back in with the brush without um, getting anything I just want to take out that uh, that went up here so I just want to smooth that out 
I um, wet my finger and I do apply with my finger that works really great as well um, actually I'm just gonna do it with my finger and I'm gonna wet it I'm gonna show you guys how that looks as well so I just wet my finger a little bit then I grab coin again I'm gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna put some on I'm gonna dab it on okay Oh my god, look at how gorgeous that is. Look at the difference. I I can see the difference when you use your finger. I don't know why it works better with your finger than with the brush. I'm thinking because the brush, um, when you pack it on, it takes um, some of it off. I'm thinking that's the reason why. But I'm not sure. But yeah, your finger works wonders. So you just want to put a little bit, right? Then I'm gonna grab um, the other one that I did on the other side, which was Bling Bling, my fave. It's so pretty, look at that. Look at that color, so beautiful. It's this one right here. So I'm gonna be grabbing that and just putting it on my inner corner, okay? I'm thinking I'm gonna do that to the other eye as well because I like that pay this payoff more than this one. And I want them to look the same. I don't want to look crazy. Oh my god. Look at how gorgeous. I love it. Looks way better. Jaclyn Hills palette is awesome, awesome, awesome for the um these colors right here that have glitter. It's like I don't know, like pressed glitter or something. So good. So 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 good. It works so beautiful on your eyelid. I know she was having um, a couple of problems with it, but to me, those glitters are the best. They're not glitters, they're like, um, I don't know, they have a little bit of glitter in them. I don't know how you would call that, but let me just clean this off. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back in a little bit again. I'm just gonna make those colors blend in together, okay? Sorry guys if you guys could hear my family's right over there and they're kind of loud sometimes. Okay, so I am done. I'm gonna wipe off the remaining of the makeup and the fallout that came out. And this one doesn't really have that much fallout, the eyeshadows. Now I am going to curl my eyelashes. really little eyelashes so I'm gonna be grabbing the Maybelline again this one right here it works it works good I like it for my bottom lashes but the top works as well too the bristles are like this so I'm just gonna put some mascara I like doing that because it sticks onto your when you put your fake eyelashes it sticks onto your eyelashes so you won't be able to see your um, your real eyelashes with your um, fake eyelashes so that sticks up so this is the process I do first I curl them I put a um, mascara then I put my lashes on okay guys so then now the next step I'm gonna grab um, tweezers and I'm gonna be I do like these right here it's a double I usually use a black one this one's okay I guess but yeah so we're gonna do that I have a style but it comes with a double pack um, how you already use them but yeah it's just pretty much like this and they're wispies okay uh, so I want to put some in the back of the band because that's what's gonna be sticking on to your eyelash so with my tweezer then I'm gonna be um, I let it dry for like 30 seconds or so maybe a minute well I blow on it but I blow on my own but um, if I'm doing clients I won't, will not blow on them um, also uh, today I'm not gonna be doing uh, eyeliner but usually when I do do eyeliner um, I do the eyeliner first I don't know that's just me um, I like how it looks better I do the eyeliner first then I put on my eyelash but today I'm going for a simple kind of simple look so I'm not gonna do eyeliner okay on my next video I'll show you guys how I do my eyeliner so here it is here's the lash I'm just gonna put it on 
so what you want to do is tilt your your um how do you call it tweezers up and you just you don't want to close your eyes okay you just want to look down and you just place your eyelash so like that and you place your eyelash and you just let it stand for a minute then you want to fix it up so you want to push it in so you just push it on and you let it dry so I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back okay guys I'm back so now I'm going to be getting a black eyeliner it's just this one from wet and wild that's just so you won't be able to tell that that's your um, eyelash and um, that will cover all the bit white um, you're gonna be able to tell that these eyelashes are fake but if you do go ahead and put black eyeliner on the top um, that will give it the illusion that they're your eyelashes so that's what I'm just gonna be doing right now careful this does kind of irritate my um, eye sometimes but I mean for beauty we do anything <laughs> So there we go again, my moisturizer already. So this makes wonders when you are going to a quinceanera, when you are going to a party, when you are going um, to the beach, somewhere you are going to be sweating or anything like that. I use this one right here, Matte Rescue from Professional. This one works super, super good on your skin. I cannot tell you um, when I do people, oh my God, it lasts the whole day. So this right here this is what i use all the time on their skin so i just grab a little amount like that on the back of my hand i grab some on my hand i put a little all over my skin and like i said i do have redness i do have imperfection but we are not all perfect <laughs> especially me i have a lot of infections in my face and not just because of that i'm not gonna do videos um, that did stop me from me not doing videos in the past but now I've learned that I mean there's a platform for everyone and we can all no matter what color what size what um, race you are what anything you are um, you can pursue your dreams you can do whatever you want feels and um, I know we all sometimes have low self-esteem and all that stuff but that's why I love makeup and the power of makeup and that's what makes um, sometimes when you feel down or you feel sad um, just applying a little bit of makeup can do wonders and lift you up and um, yeah that's why I do what I do and I love doing makeup that's been my passion since I was little and um, this is what I love to do so okay and with me saying all that um, I'm gonna continue doing my makeup second step is I use this one the professional that's for um, all my pores so it could um, your makeup could go on smoothly so I just apply a little bit as you can see right here I grab a little bit I put them where I focus more um, on with this product is right here because this is where I have the most pores on my skin that I use for foundation is um, I mix okay that's my favorite I've always done it and um okay so this is what i use i use the Esther lauder double wear oh my god this works wonders on your skin this it makes your makeup application so smooth and so beautiful if you have not tried this please go out and try it this one's so good double wear foundation it's Esther lauder i'm in the color tawny so I mix that with the Max. I'm um, Max. What the fuck is Max? Mac. <laughs> oh my god. The Mac um, um, foundation. Um, this one can be a little too cakey and it can be a little too orange. Um, I didn't get the right color, I believe. I believe I changed colors now. This one's in NC40. Um, but what I do is I mix these two together and it makes a perfect combination. 
I love it and make that well as for me I love these two together I love mixing foundations I love making my own own creation so this works wonders so I'm gonna be showing you guys how this works for me so I'm gonna be grabbing some of this the, um, foundation goes to the bottom so I just like to mix it a little bit you know to make it a little better um I usually I'm just gonna use the back of my hand so I just do one pump well that was like one and a half <laughs> sorry so then so then I do one drop and with foundation you want to use a little and work your way up like work because if not then it looks too cakey here the, the same one that I used to carve out my eyebrows and I'm going to mix those two colors together so I'm just, what I'm going to do is just little things like that all over my face. I'm going to start off with one side of my face first. Okay. So you're going to grab your beauty blender. I love this. This is amazing. Don't worry. Like I said, trust the process. Okay. Just wait till the end. Okay, so now we are going to contour our face. So I'm just gonna do a line right about there. Right about there. Here. And one here. So I'm here. A little bit on the chin, uh, under the chin right here. Um, a little bit on the nose. When you're doing your cheeks you're gonna blend up upwards see right there you're gonna do it up because that's gonna give the illusion of your face being smaller as opposed to if you drag it down your face is gonna be look like it's dragging down so it is oh my god the wet and wild stick the color I'm using right now. Blend that upwards. Up, 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 up. That's gonna give your your face like an uplift instead of blending it down where it's gonna just drag your face down. So you're gonna get your face a facelift. together and blend I really like um, I actually really like how this works the Maybelline works good I mean I like shade tape too but um I really like the alley girl one that one works that one works wonders Keep on blending, girl. Now we blend this part out. Now we are going to set my face with RCMA. 
I really like this product. A lot of people ask me if this gives you um, payback or like, you know, when you take pictures. Flashback, sorry, not payback, flashback. Um, it actually doesn't to me. I don't know if to other people it does, but to me it doesn't. I really like it. It works perfectly fine for me. I've used it on clients. It works perfectly fine. Um, it lasts me the whole day, so I really like it. So I'm gonna show you how I apply this on my face. Just trust me, it works good. So all you want to do is tap it on like that. I tend to get um, a lot oily right here, so that's where I'm going to put more. And then on the sides of my nose. I know I look crazy, girls, but trust the process. Once again, like I always say, I'm gonna let this um, bake for a couple of minutes. I am gonna grab my Morphe Morphe brush once again. It's just this one. I like to use this to um, contour my face. I'm gonna grab the Physicians Formula um, Butter Bronzer. This works so good, I love it. Now I'm going to put some blush. I like this one. This is MAC blush. As you can tell, I'm almost out of it. Um, and it does not even have a color anymore. Sorry. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to grab a little. Just You just want a little bit to bring color back into your face. And you want to just bring those two colors together but I just li I like to put a little on my forehead just to bring everything together See? now we're gonna take off all the bake that we did all the baking see how it um, lightens up this part right here if you went too harsh in the beginning it kind of lightens it up now and what I'm doing here is I'm taking it off and then just going like this to my head. Just to take out all the uh, the rest that was left on here. Because then what, what's going to be the point? I'm going to be taking it off and putting it back on. So I'm just taking it off. Okay. So once I did that, I go back in with this brush. The one where I contoured and um, I did... Um, everything else with I go back in with this and I just go back and soften up that harsh line that I might have so go like that I, I go back with these two brushes then I go like this like this I go back again make sure everything's blended So you just want to keep going back and forth. So I'm gonna be using this one. I really, really like this. Oh my God, it's a little busted. Hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna be using um, butterscotch. This one here. That's my favorite. I really love it. So where's my little? Okay. So I use this brush. 
I like to use small little brushes like this so you can really, really put it wherever you like. So what you can do also, you can also um, spray a little bit of spray to make it more, um, so it could glow more. So I grab some, um, okay. And then you just wanna place it right here. the real fix it plus <laughs> this one right here I'm gonna spray this all over my face <sighs> sorry I can't breathe and I dry that up and then with my beauty blender I just go like this just to dry it out a little and then I add a little bit more highlight just to give it that extra glow. I add a little more. See? Then you're glowing for the gone. The last step that I do, I wet it a little bit. Wet it a little bit. Then I just um, tap it in just so it can look like your skin. Blend everywhere where you put that highlight. So it could be a little less intense. And it could look like it's um, on your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of um, a lip balm. I'm gonna put some on my lips. This is gonna make my um, application smoother. And so it won't be too drying because um, I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star um, Calabasas. And this can be a little, um, they're not too drying, they're, they're good on that, but I just like to apply a little bit of lip balm just to make it more. 